Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to carry out a linear regression in eViews. In order to do so I've already gone ahead and opened up uh, an eViews data file and I've actually used the census 13 data file that is included with Stata and I just did that for purposes of uniformity. A lot of the other tests um, that we've performed are done with the Census 13 data set. So for those of you who are familiar with it, I think it's a good choice. And for those of you who are not, it's actually a pretty simple data set to work with. What I want to do today is demonstrate a linear regression with the dependent variable of divorce rate. And I want to predict divorce rate as a function of median age uh, and the marriage rate. And I want to do so knowing that these data pertain to 50 states so we have data for uh, for 50 US states and that's you know that's the background of what we're trying to fit here so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste in the command code for eViews and I'm gonna highlight it so you can see it here what you do with the syntax here is you create an equation and you name it so I'm just calling it EQ1 and uh, dot LS just as a indicator that this is a least squares equation and here's my dependent variable divorce rate followed by my predictors median age and marriage rate and C for the constant so as soon as I've entered this command here in the eViews command window I'm just going to press enter and as you can see here we generated this new equation right over here in the eViews command window and if we open it up we actually see the regression model here. So we have our coefficients um, for the predictors and for the constant. We have probabilities here. We have an R squared, an adjusted R squared, and a bunch of other important stuff that you would need for the linear regression. Um, here we see that everything is statistically significant. It looks as if when the median age goes down, uh, the divorce rate uh, goes up. And when the marriage rate goes up, the divorce rate goes up as well. And we know that from the coefficients. And we have everything that we need here to write our uh, ordinary least squares uh, regression formula. And we want to do a, one more thing here in this tutorial. I would like to show you uh, the HET test here. And I'm going to go ahead and do a... a a Bruch Pagan uh, test of heteroscedasticity on this equation. And in order to do that, I just want to point out that all these variables here are the regressors and the constant. So we have to enter those and then just press enter. And then we have our HET test. And we see that we do not have a heteroscedasticity problem because our p value is over 0.05. We have different t-statistics here and probabilities for um, the regressors and the constant. Now I do want to point out to you that uh, had you wanted to do so, you could have gone ahead and run the same model by just um, you know highlighting the variables that you wanted and opening them up as a group. Or you could have gone over here to quick and you could have estimated an equation typing it out. I wanted to go ahead and show you the command options because those are not always necessarily well documented in eViews and if you were to go ahead and do more complex models and loops and things of that kind I think it's best to know at least how to start using um, the command option in eViews uh, the syntax option that is and what's useful also is that when you're done here you can go ahead and uh, save your commands you can either do a program file here in eViews itself and save that or if you like, you could uh, you could even just copy this over to a text file, save it there, um, and then if your data are in Excel or something, just um, you know copy over the stuff from your Notepad uh, into the command window. It just makes stuff reproducible, and it, it leaves a trail of everything you did, and it's it's very easy to start tweaking this stuff later on if you have a whole bunch of uh, separate regression commands that you want to run, for example. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. 
That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.